Hello everyone, Matt here. Just wanted to give a quick maintenance tip on uh, your boat trailer. Um, getting ready to haul this girl to 100 hour service. Um, so it's a little haul away. Um, one of the things I want to do is check grease in the bearings. Um, what you're supposed to do is uh, every time you uh, retrieve uh, on some brand or makes of trailers, they want you to uh, grease up the hubs on your trailer. I guess every time it's immersed in water, salt, and in my case, salt water. Um, anyways, I have been doing that. However, this last time I failed to do that. Now, one of the reasons why is I wanted to show a video of uh, maintenance. It's the dirty part of owning a boat that no one really shows about, uh, uh, really cares to illustrate. But uh, real quick, I'll uh, see if I can show you real quick. Pop the dust covers off of my hub here, and you can see. You got good grease up top there, but it's starting to discolor and peel out. And then right there in the bottom, it's starting to get a cream colored, uh, uh, I guess a cream colored texture to it. And that's where the grease is starting to go bad. Now here, this is what a good grease should be. Now it could be one of two things. One, my dust cap has uh, got a little crack in it allowed a little water in or just the water itself but most likely there's nothing wrong with the cover i mean it's these little rubber grommets here and i don't have my glo uh, gloves on i would suggest getting a box of latex gloves or nitrile and uh using them it keeps your hand a lot cleaner but uh here's the dust cover um it's just a little rubber grommet just sticks right there in that flim or that little flange right there and it just pops in and pops out drill a uh, screwdriver has helped taking it all on and off but uh, I'm just using uh, just a multiplex grease uh, and it's just super tech since um, I'm going through and you're, like I said you're greasing it every time so every time you go out so you're pumping fresh grease in I don't really try to get the uh, best um, I guess the highest dollar brand because you're having as much run through it so you're always like I said always putting uh, new grass through it I just got the farm brand because that's what we use on a lot of our equipment um, overall I thought it was a good it's got it's a lithium based so uh, I know that it's got a better texture than some of the other brands I've used as long as you get a lithium brace grease now the grease gun all I got is this little cheapo right here uh, not much there um, however I do have other grease guns I have electric grease guns Lincoln's I got a DeWalt um, that I keep to some of the guys out on the cruise uh, Carquest has a nice $50 one that I would recommend if you're grease and farm equipment but for this boat trailer just this little cheapo and what I normally do is I'll you saw I had the tub there I don't rip by the tubes of grease for this little guy what I do is stick the tube in there and draw it up in there and then take my fingers and pack a little bit in and then wipe the whole thing down with a paper towel afterwards um, it's my my opinion is yeah it's a little messier but it's cheaper but uh, again, we're going to shoot a couple of shots in there. I'll see if I can't put the phone down and then show you uh, what it looks like when you pump in. Cause... There it is. There's another shot of the discolored grease. And this was red. And see, it's almost like a purplish pink. And we'll see if we can get some stuff in there. And I'll just kick it out. Like I said, this stuff was red. And you can see, make sure I stay centered on it. The darker it is, the better it is. And I'm gonna clean this up with a paper towel because I got my phone in my hand. Also, you look at the consistency of the grease, it's not acting like grease, but the more I get in there, the darker it looks. I think I'll just go ahead and load this bad boy up. One of the things is this grease was red, but uh, as the grease heats up, it will turn 
I think I'm out. It will turn a black color, but one of the things when you pull this guy out of here is just look, see it doesn't have any stickiness. A lot of times if it's got good grease on it, that whole glob would have stayed stuck to the grease tip. But in this case, uh, there's a little bit of good grease on top, but it's very, the grease is very runny. You see it, there's no, no texture on it at all. So, like I said, keep those hubs greased. You actually can see the, the grease pushing the water out because that's all we're trying to do is keep good grease packed around these bearings because uh, we don't want to be on the side of the road with a, a hub, missing a hub where the uh, bearings have just gotten so rusted up and fouled, burnt up, and the, the hub has come apart and fallen off. Have it, I've had it done. I've had it happen in the past. It's not fun, especially when you, if you, uh, I had one trailer one time, uh, and it was a tandem axle trailer. And I don't think it was so much bearings being bad. I think it was damaged by somebody. I'm not going to name names. However, one particular hub, and it was always, and surprisingly, it's always a starboard front front light one. I guess it might also be it catches all the wear and tear if you run off the road. However, that one on a previous trailer kept going bad on me. So I'm a firm believer of keeping your hubs and bearings greased. Uh, like I said, a little bit five cent of grease now can prevent you having a great big bill. Also, when you get trailers or have, if your trailer is relatively new, see what your manufacturer recommends. Because I know on this, uh, I know on several of them, they want you to grease it before you go on a long trip and then also on every retrieve or every time it's immersed in water and uh, like I said I've been pretty good on it however I wanted to show everybody what could happen and what the grease looks like uh, after the water's been so that's why I did it here but anyways I gotta put my gloves on and finish this little task up if you got any questions leave me a comment below uh, and I will be more than happy to answer it if you uh, like this video and want some more, please, uh, like I said, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and hope to see you guys on the water sometime. Thanks. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to make, after I got done with the video, of course I'm sweating, it's hot, got a little warm outside, um, and fortunately I don't have any grease on me. Uh, the Supertech uh, multi multi-complex -com grease that I was using to grease my bearings, uh, I'm not advertising in any ways and I don't have any affiliation with them so it I was just given a recommendation that it was the cheapest get it at Walmart um, it's very convenient and the fact that I was using it and not another like Kendall blue is the fact that uh, or, or like a marine grease is because you're exchanging the grease out so often that uh, I didn't really see the need for the extra benefit because you know, if you dunk your trailer once a week, you're having fresh grease in it every week. So, um, with that, you're exchanging it really fast. Um, however, in my case right then, I haven't been out in a month, so exchanging out. I had done the, uh, up the previous side before I came over, and I found the one that had the cream color uh, grease in it, or uh, pastel, red, pink, whatever uh, you want to call it, had there, or it was in there felt okay cool I can do a real quick video describe uh, the importance of trailer maintenance also when it comes to wheel bearings and that such so anyways uh, back with the video